Are you tired of high input lag, stutters, or just looking to squeeze out more FPS out of your graphics card? Whether you have a low-end laptop, a high-end desktop PC, or anything in between, this video will walk you through the latest and best ways to optimize your NVIDIA GPU so you can get the most performance out of your hardware. We'll cover how to do this step-by-step -step manually so you fully understand what's happening. Later in the video, I'll also mention our trusted tool called Hone, which you can use to optimize more advanced settings which I otherwise wouldn't be able to cover in this video. Before we make any changes to our settings, I highly recommend a clean clean slate to work off of. We will be achieving this by performing a clean debloated driver installation using NV Cleanstall, which is advanced but will give you more freedom and customization over your driver. It's important to note that installing a new driver resets your shader cache, which means your games may stutter or hitch temporarily the first time you launch them after the driver update. But don't worry, after a few minutes of gameplay, the cache will rebuild and the stuttering will stop. You download NV Cleanstall, open your browser and search for NV Cleanstall. Then head over to the Tech Power Up website. On the left hand side, you will see the latest version that is available at the time of watching this video. Click download, select your nearest server, and save this to the location of your choice. Once the download is complete, locate the file, and double click it to open NV Cleanstall. Now straight away inside of NV Cleanstall, you'll see many different things, but all you're going to want to do is look for the option that says manually select a driver version. Click this and select the newest desktop driver from the drop down menu. Then simply navigate to the bottom right hand side and click next to continue. Now in this next panel, you'll see a list of optional features that you can enable or disable based on your personal needs. For example, if you use headphones plugged into your monitor, make sure to check the HD audio via HDMI, otherwise you won't receive any audio. If you want the Nvidia app or GeForce overlay, you will need to check the Nvidia app or shadow play. If for any reason you are unsure about what any option does, simply click on it and NV Cleanstall will show a brief description for each one. For the cleanest and most debloated installation, I won't select any other features and instead click a minimum at the bottom here. Once you are happy with your options, select next and NV Cleanstall will begin to remove any components you unchecked and install any components you did check. For most people, this will take a short while to complete. Once completed, you'll be brought to the installation tweak section where we can fine tune and customize the settings for our driver. First off, I recommend disabling installer telemetry and advertising to keep things private and remove unnecessary ads, enable unattended express installation, and allow automatic reboot if needed for an automated setup that prevents any pop-ups during installation. Make sure to perform a clean installation as this wipes out any leftover files from old drivers that could cause issues. This is crucial to performing a debloated driver installation, especially if you haven't performed a clean installation in the past or haven't reset your PC in a while. You can skip add hardware support and DLSS indicator as these don't affect performance. I suggest leaving multiplane overlay unchecked as in some cases, disabling multiplane overlay can lead to performance issues. However, if you want, you can try and experiment with multiplane overlay disabled. Some people have reported lower latency. However, for me, I'm going to leave this unchecked. Next, unless you use the Nvidia overlays built-in screenshot tool or game filter, you can disable Ansel. Check show expert tweaks to unlock the advanced options, and I highly recommend checking disable driver telemetry. This one's marked as experimental, but it's generally safe to enable. Avoid disable Nvidia container, since checking this box can break the NVIDIA control panel. Disable NVIDIA HD audio sleep timer, it's personal preference. It will prevent your audio device from sleeping during inactivity. For me, I'm going to check this. Make sure enable message signaled interrupts is checked, as this can help reduce input and system latency. Disable HDCP is also personal preference. If you use streaming services such as Netflix, Disney+, etc, leave this box unchecked. Otherwise, I recommend you check it, as it can reduce system latency quite substantially on many systems. Leave NVENC video encoding limit and start external applications unchecked as they are unnecessary and won't affect performance. Check the last two options so your driver works with games that use easy anti-cheat such as Fortnite to automatically handle the driver unassigned warning during installation. Finally, once again, navigate to the bottom right hand corner and select next, which will begin to apply all the tweaks you selected to the driver. Once again, this can take a short while depending on your options. Once you're set up, you'll reach the final page, click install and let NV Cleanstall take care of the rest. Whilst the installation runs, don't be alarmed if your screen flashes or goes black for a moment, that's completely normal when updating your graphics drivers. With your new and clean driver installed, let's quickly tune a couple of Windows settings for better performance. First of all, we're going to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. To do this, simply right click on your desktop and select display settings. Scroll down to graphics, then navigate to the top where it says change default graphics settings. Click this and in here you should see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and optimizations for windowed games. Simply enable both of these. This helps your graphics card manage memory more efficiently, which can slightly lower latency and boost FPS in some games. Next, let's make sure Windows Game Mode is enabled. At the top left of your screen, type Game Mode and open the Game Mode settings. Once again, simply enable Game Mode. This tells your operating system to prioritize your game and pause unnecessary background tasks while you play. 
Now, let's move on to the NVIDIA control panel. Close your settings and right click on your desktop. Navigate down to show more options and then select the NVIDIA control panel. Once you're in the NVIDIA control panel, on the left hand side, navigate to manage 3D settings. Straight away, you'll see two different tabs, global settings and program settings. Global settings applies changes to all of your games, whereas program settings applies changes to individual games. Now, if there are any settings I do not cover, feel free to leave them at default. First of all, starting at the top here, we have image scaling, which renders your game at a lower resolution and upscales it to your monitors. For most people, this is only useful if you're struggling to hit your target frame rate in games, as whilst this does boost FPS, also reduces image quality. Next up, ambient occlusion should be left to off. Instead, adjust this in the in-game settings. Next, anisotropic filtering should be left at application controlled. What anisotropic filtering does is it improves the clarity of textures when viewed at sharp angles. With anisotropic filtering disabled, these textures can appear blurry or smeared as they proceed into the background. For the best image quality, set this to 16x, however it is almost always better to adjust this in game. Anti-aliasing, FXXA and gamma correction should be set off for maximum FPS. These settings smooth out jagged edges in games, which improves visual quality however it also impacts performance. Furthermore, this option in the NVIDIA control panel is almost always overridden by the in-game settings. Background application max frame rate should be off unless you want to save power, like on a laptop. For CUDA GPUs, open the drop down menu and select any and all of the GPUs inside of here. DSR factors should be left to off. What this does is the opposite of DLSS, where your game is rendered at a higher resolution to your monitors and downscales it to your monitor's resolution, which will substantially increase visual quality but at the cost of FPS and input lag. Low latency mode should be left at on for most users, only set this to ultra if you have a very high end PC. Multi-frame sampled anti-aliasing should be left off as this is just another anti-aliasing method and reduces performance. Power management mode should be set to prefer maximum performance. Only set this to normal if you experience high temperatures or overheating. Always set preferred refresh rate to highest available as this ensures your monitor is running at its best speed. For most people, shader cache size should be left at 10GB. Only set this to unlimited if you have a lot of storage. Texture filtering quality should be set to high performance for the most FPS or quality if you want better visuals. Threaded optimization should usually be set to auto to let your game pick what's best for the most FPS. Enabling this allows your game to use all of your CPU cores, which can improve performance in some cases, however it may do the opposite in others. Triple buffering should be left off unless you use VSync, and VSync should also be left off. Once again, any other options that I do not cover here either do not significantly affect performance or should just be left at default. After you have finished adjusting these, navigate to the bottom right hand side and select apply to save your changes. With these settings dialed in, your NVIDIA control panel will be fully optimized for your system and games. Some of the more advanced optimizations like adjusting MSI mode or system time resolution can make a noticeable difference in input lag and FPS, but doing these tweaks manually can get complicated fast. It usually means digging through the registry, changing device manager settings and researching. This is exactly why I recommend installing a system optimizing app to do this automatically. It is not something you have to do, but for many people it makes things much easier. There are a few different options out there, but if you're after something that you know is safe and widely trusted, Hone is a great pick. In fact, Hone is even available on the Epic Games Store, so you know it's safe. Once you have Hone installed, open it, and inside of here you'll find a huge library of different system and GPU optimizations, all organized in one place. To start off with, navigate to the left hand side and select optimizations. In here you'll see many different optimizations, but what you're going to want to do is navigate to the top right hand side and click the search bar. First off, we're going to start with the general NVIDIA optimizations. Enabling this will automatically apply a set of proven settings that boost FPS and reduce latency across all games. Moving on, in here, search for optimized memory management. This tweak adjusts how Windows handles RAM, ensuring that games and other demanding applications have access to memory when they need it. This not only helps reduce stutters, but also improves overall responsiveness. Next up, search for optimized IO operations. Enabling this allows your system to handle game files and assets more efficiently, which can help with loading times, reduce stutters, and can give you a more stable frame rate. Then search for Optimized Message Signal Interrupts or MSI. Optimizing Message Signal Interrupts changes how your GPU talks to the CPU. This can substantially reduce input latency and may also boost FPS. Then search for Timer Resolution. Optimizing your Windows timer resolution will give you a much smoother frame time and once again will also lower latency. And finally, for anyone who wants to get the absolute best performance possible, you can also search for Disable Windows Power Throttling. Disabling Windows Power Throttling ensures your system is running at its maximum speeds whenever possible, so I recommend only enabling this if you have very good cooling. And once you've done all of this, simply navigate to the bottom and click Restart Now to apply all of your changes. And that's it, your NVIDIA GPU is now fully optimized for performance, lower input lag and smoother gameplay.